And what was so, so explain to me what the process was when these people for this documentary, the Skyway Bridge disaster, when they came to you, were you surprised or shocked at all with any, any of the information that they were able to uncover? I'm going to say that we came to them. My daughter had... Oh, no one knew about you guys. Nobody had ever heard about the DOT divers, mm -hmm. except our bridge inspection community, yeah. our family. The Skyway documentary did not, no, no disrespect, Frankie, hear about us before that. I contact, contacted them, and we had our first meeting on June 26th of 2019. The documentary came out in September of 2019. So I had just bumped into him. They had put a Facebook site up and they were asking for true stories. I knew we had a true story and I knew that it was a story that uh, had never been told because we didn't tell it. Nobody asked. Nobody asked. Nobody asked. So we uh, pestered them. I pestered them and pestered them and they finally said, if these guys are for real, I imagine we probably ought to interview them. So they uh, contacted us. We had a meeting. Uh, over at Derby Lane, uh, we met with Frankie Vanderbilt and uh, introduced ourselves. And I, and I think it was pretty, pretty plain from Frankie that I provided the documentation that I have and our expertise and experience in bridge inspection and our story. But I think pretty much when I put this picture down and laid it in front of him, I think he understood that we were actually out there. Mm -hmm. All of the most of the people in the documentary and stuff, uh, there's not too many of them that were actually there. There are a few. There's a couple of Coast Guardsmen mm -hmm. and some of the other people, but most of the story, I think we were some of the few people that were really there. Mm -hmm. We hadn't had a chance to tell our story, and once Frankie heard it, he made sure that we were there. I have a special announcement if you'll allow me. Yes, please. I am proud to announce that the documentary film crew has considered and are putting together a part two of the Skyway documentary. Oh, cool. They have uh, received reviews on the uh, Amazon uh, site. They asked for reviews, and they are listening to the people that reviewed the documentary. Uh, they have taken their people's... Uh, questions and are looking to tell more stories and are actually uh, putting together a part two uh, to be out soon uh, if they can uh, complete the, the issue but they are going to go ahead and do a part two on that include more stories uh, such as ours so uh, hopefully it'll be out here shortly but I, you know that's a that's an exclusive for you interesting man well what, what else would it cover besides i mean obviously uh, this documentary i feel like it covered a lot of the story of um, Lero, the captain, and his attorney, and their friendship, and kind of like the misconceptions of him. So the second part, you think, will dive more into the story. The, that you guys the personal told? stories. Okay. Uh, what they've done is they've taken a review uh, based on the, the reviews that they've got, and they're going ahead and trying to answer some of those questions of who the people want to see mm. that have seen the, 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 the documentary, what they want to hear. So they're asking more people, probably somebody like uh, uh, the uh, Coast Guard people and, and us maybe uh, would be included in telling further stories. They're looking for stories rather than, uh, you know, just the, 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 the accident itself. That's incredible. Well, I'll look forward to it. Is there anything else that you guys would like to share before we wrap it up? Yeah, I, I'd like to say thanks uh, to a lot of people. There, there are so many people that were out there that day that we worked with in, in, in past uh, that why we were still out there we worked with the pinellas county sheriff's department their bomb squad when we were doing bomb inspections out there also we worked with the manatee county sheriff's bomb squad hillsborough county sheriff's bomb squad we worked with the dive teams we would like to say thank you to all of those guys that we didn't have a chance to out there that day or the following months and years that thing had uh, received several bomb calls and bomb threats that we were involved in uh, another one of those things that, uh, you know, wasn't in our job description, but we did it. Uh, it was necessary to open it up for traffic. We haven't had a chance to say thank you. Uh, I, I have a, a poster similar to the one over there that was signed by as many people that we could muster that were there that day from Pinellas Maintenance that we'd like to go ahead and, and give to the DOT yard and say thank you. 
to all of those guys who also haven't had a chance to tell their story and, and, and give them that opportunity to at least be acknowledged and recognized. So we, we do have some uh, further plans to give some uh, posters out and, and say thanks. Uh, we, we, there are so many people that were involved. Without my faith, my family, my friends, and the truth, there's no doubt in my mind that it would have been so much more difficult to accomplish what we did. Prior to us being exposed or coming out uh, by, in the documentary, nobody had heard our story. We're not looking for a parade, money, or badge, or anything like that. We're just trying to set history straight, tell the truth. If it's going to be about the Skyway and we were involved, I'd like the truth to be told. And so far, I think the documentary has done a very good job. Definitely have to give a shout out to Gabrielle Calise and the and the Times for allowing her the opportunity to spend some time doing an investigative report that further solidified and documented our credibility in regards to this issue. Gabrielle did a great job, great job, and she and, and she really uh, kept us all out of trouble and kept it as neutral as she could. She did a fantastic job, and thanks to the Times, even though it took 38, 40 years. Hmm. to get to us we appreciate the time that we've had well thank you guys for sharing your story i'm sure it it takes a lot to be able to talk about everything in detail and you know i appreciate you guys for all the hard work and sacrifice that you guys have made as well and uh thanks again for coming on and telling your story